Hey guys, Uncle Jim and DJ Styles from Trek Talkin', a Star Trek podcast, back with another Star Trek Attack Wing preview. This time we're taking a look at the new Kelvin Timeline Fleet Pack. Specialization cards, SCSs, are two-sided cards featuring this symbol. This card contains additional rules that pertain to SCSs. One, during setup, choose which side each of your SCSs will start on. Two, if an SC is flipped while it's disabled, it remains disabled. Three, if an SC is flipped while it has a time token, the time tokens remain on it. Four, if an SC has an upgrade card equipped to it, it is flipped, the upgrade card remains equipped to it. Five, players only earn fleet points for SP cost that was paid for an SC during fleet construction. Six, while flipping an SC, that SC remains equipped to the ship even if it exceeds the ship's restrictions. And seven, you may not flip an SC to its captain or admiral side if it would cause you to have more than one captain on a ship or more than one admiral in a fleet. USS Enterprise Constitution Class Kelvin, Dual Faction, Federation, Mirror Universe throws four attack dice, one evade dice, has six hull and four shields for 28 points. She can perform an evade, target lock, scan and battle stations as her actions and can equip one tech upgrade, two secondary weapons and two crew. Her ship ability reads end phase, flip one specialization card equipped to this ship and target one face up damage card besides this ship. Flip the target damage card face down. The generic Constitution class Kelvin is also dual faction, federation, and mirror. Throws four attack dice, one evade, has six hull and three shields. Can perform the same actions, evade, target lock, scan, and battle stations, but can only equip one tech upgrade, one secondary weapon upgrade, and two crew slots for 24 points. With only two red maneuvers, a six forward and a two reverse, and six green maneuvers to clean the auxiliary power token off, this ship is extremely maneuverable and will be useful in many fleets. James T. Kirk, Captain, skill level seven, one elite talent upgrade, Dual Faction, Federation, Mirror Universe for four points. Activation phase. Disable this card. Remove one time token from all crew upgrades equipped to this ship. Mr. Spock, Captain. Skill rating six. One elite talent. Dual Faction for four points. When attacking, this ship may add one battle station if there is a scan token beside this ship. This ship may add one hit instead. Mr. Spock, crew upgrade, one elite talent, dual faction, four points. Activation phase, place three time tokens on this card. Increase the captain skill on this captain equipped to this ship by two this game round and perform a scan action as a free action. Hikaru Sulu, captain, skill level five, dual faction, three points. Action, perform a one bank right or left maneuver and place one evade token beside this ship. Hikaru Sulu, crew upgrade, dual faction, three points. When this ship would suffer damage from an obstacle or minefield, place three time tokens on this card and roll three defense dice. For each evade, cancel one hit or critical hit. Nyota Uhura, crew card, dual faction, three points. When this card is flipped face up or after the ship suffers critical damage, discard all face up communications failure damage cards beside this ship's card. Nyota Ahura, crew upgrade, dual faction, three points. Activation phase, place three time tokens on this card and target this ship or a friendly ship at range one to two. Increase the range of all upgrades equipped to that target ship by one this game round to a maximum range of three. Pavel Chekhov, crew upgrade, dual faction, two points. 
activation phase. Place three time tokens on this card. Remove one auxiliary power token from beside this ship. Pavel Chekhov, crew upgrade, dual faction, two points. Combat phase. Place three time tokens on this card and target an opposing ship at range one to two. Remove one scan token from beside the targeted ship. Montgomery Scott, crew upgrade, dual faction, three points. Planning phase. Place three time tokens on this card. Repair one shield on this ship and flip this card. Montgomery Scott, crew upgrade, dual faction, three points. Planning phase. Place three time tokens on this card. Repair one hull on this ship and flip this card. Leonard McCoy, crew upgrade, dual faction, three points. When a captain equipped to this ship would be disabled, place three time tokens on this card instead. When a captain equipped to this ship would be discarded, place two time tokens on this card and the captain that would be discarded instead. Leonard McCoy, crew upgrade, dual faction, three points. Setup, place one crew upgrade with a printed cost of four SP or less face down beneath this card. Activation phase, flip the crew upgrade beneath this card face up and equip it to this ship even if it exceeds the ship's restrictions. Place three time tokens on that crew upgrade. Christopher Pike, Captain, skill level eight, one elite talent upgrade, dual faction, five points. Add one crew upgrade to this ship's upgrade bar. Action, flip up the two specialization cards equipped to this ship. Christopher Pike, Admiral, plus two to your captain skill, one elite talent upgrade, dual faction, five points. Add one crew upgrade to this ship's upgrade bar. Fleet action. Flip up the two specialization cards equipped to this ship. IKS Amar, Warbird class, Klingon, Mirror Universe, dual faction. Throws four attack dice, one evade dice, four hull, three shields. Can perform target lock, battle station, cloak, and sensor echo. Can carry one tech upgrade, two secondary weapon upgrades, one crew upgrade for 21 points. The special ability reads, when this ship suffers damage to its hull, once per game, if this ship is cloaked, this ship may perform an attack with its primary weapons. Klingon Warbird, generic. Throws four attack dice, one evade die, has a hull of four, two shields, can perform target lock, battle station, cloak, sensor echo, can carry one tech upgrade, one secondary upgrade, one crew upgrade for 17 points. Klingon Warbird class. With only three red maneuvers, three hard red and a three come about, and six green maneuvers to clear an auxiliary power token, this ship is extremely maneuverable. Kang, Captain, skill level 6, 1 elite upgrade, Klingon, Mirror Universe, dual faction, 4 points. Planning phase, if an opposing Federation ship is in this ship's primary firing arc, increase the captain skill of this captain by 2 this game round. Core, Captain, skill level 7, 1 elite talent, Klingon, Mirror, dual faction, 4 points. Setup. Choose an opposing ship. When attacking the chosen ship, the ship may roll plus one attack die and convert up to two battle stations into hits. When defending against the chosen ship, the ship may roll plus one defense die and convert up to two battle stations into evades. Klingon first officer, one per ship, Klingon use only. Crew upgrade, dual faction, four points. End phase. One per game, discard the captain equipped to this ship. Perform an attack with the ship's primary weapons. This card becomes a ship's captain with a skill level of four. Klingon guard, Klingon use only, crew upgrade, dual faction, two points. Combat phase, discard this card, 
place one evade token beside this ship. Klingon patrol, Klingon use only, crew upgrade, dual faction, two points. End phase, if this ship is not in the primary firing arc of an opposing ship within range of one to two, flip this ship's cloak token to its green side. Disruptor volley, Klingon warbird use only, secondary weapon upgrade, dual faction, three points. Attack. Disable this card to target an opposing ship at range 1 to 3. Roll 5 attack dice. This attack deals no damage. If this attack hits, place an auxiliary power token beside the defending ship. If the defending ship is an attack squadron, discard one attack squadron token for each uncanceled hit or critical hit. Photon torpedoes. Auxiliary firing arc only. Secondary weapon. Klingon Mirror Universe Dual Faction 3 points. The attack value of this secondary weapon is a ship's primary weapon value plus 1. Attack a ship at range 1 to 3. Spend this ship's target lock token and place 3 time tokens on this card and target an opposing ship. If the defending ship has no active shields and is not cloaked, convert all battle stations into critical hits. Portable Transwarp Beaming Device, Tech Upgrade 2 Points, Mirror Universe. When a crew upgrade equipped to this ship would be discarded, discard this card and target a friendly ship at range 1 to 3. Instead, place one time token on the crew upgrade that would be discarded and equip it to the target ship, even if it exceeds that ship's restrictions. Integrated Future Technology, one per ship, secondary upgrade, mirror universe, three points. You do not pay a faction penalty when equipping Romulan or Borg secondary weapons or tech upgrades to this ship. Setup. Place one tech upgrade with a printed cost of four or less face down beneath this card. Planning phase. Discard this card, flip that tech upgrade beneath this card, face up, and equip it to this ship, even if it exceeds the ship's restrictions. Tune in to Trek Talkin', a Star Trek podcast, every Thursday night from 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, only on Blog Talk Radio, now available on iTunes Podcast, or visit us on Facebook. Thank you, and kapla.